Phoenix, Arizona, a jewel in the Sun Belt and one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. With about 175 millimeters of rainfall per year, the climate in Phoenix is actually drier than that of Windhoek. But attitudes towards daily water use in this booming southwestern city are very different from those of water-conscious Namibia. The Guyette family of Phoenix uses an astonishing 3,000 liters of water per day. A seemingly endless stream of water flows from a variety of faucets and fixtures. Over half the water used in the Phoenix area is for landscaping. This average suburban Phoenix family uses over a million liters of water per year. Carefree attitudes about water in Phoenix are a result of a culture that has been disconnected from the natural limitations of geography and environment. Money has made a difference for Arizona. Money which pays for transporting water from a distant source. The Central Arizona Project, CAP for short, is a technological marvel that brings water from the faraway Colorado River to the neighborhoods of Phoenix. This four billion dollar conduit for daily water provides an illusion of plenty in a region of parched landscapes and a sinking groundwater table. Ironically, the very technology that has allowed water to be diverted to this desert metropolis has had both positive and negative results. The ability to import surface water from the Colorado River and deliver it as daily water for homes and businesses has helped to prevent regional environmental damage from continued pumping of groundwater aquifers. But the wonder and efficiency of CAP as its Colorado River water rolls down through the desert has deprived Mexico of water downstream, while at the same time it has led many people in Arizona and California to see daily water as an unlimited resource. More than 25 million individuals currently drink Colorado River water on a daily basis. Cities like Las Vegas and Los Angeles also depend on this river for their daily water needs. Officials from many of these cities are beginning to realize that the Colorado is not, in fact, an unlimited supply of water. As the region's population grows, they realize that attitudes towards use of water must change. In Arizona, CAP and its controlling body, the Central Arizona Water Conservation District, are part of a statewide program to change individual attitudes towards daily water. Similar to the education program in Namibia, school children in Phoenix are involved in programs to create new awareness of the need to conserve water. Water to me is very important. It's reflected a lot in our landscapes and our entire agricultural operation is based on low water use plants and zero scape landscaping. Our golf course is designed to use less water than the average golf course, so it essentially means jobs to the students out of our ag program. Zeriscape technology, landscaping with low water use plants, is a prime example of how individuals can become part of the solution to problems of daily water usage. In Phoenix, a state-of-the-art demonstration garden is an example of new approaches to address nature's warning about water scarcity. When using desert plant material, it saves about 10 times less water than if you were to go in and have grass everywhere. And so it's really more water conserving. 
The other thing that's really nice is when you landscape right, you can do what's called a technique. Each lawn that is replaced with xeriscape plants saves 1,000 liters of water per day. This can add up to huge savings as millions of people in this vast region become aware of the value of this resource.